Okay, welcome back everybody. So I'm finally back out here to do a video. Uh, so this video is going to be beating cancer with an elephant rifle. Let's get into it. Okay, so many of you know, uh, right around Christmas time, before Christmas, my wife was diagnosed with breast cancer. Uh, she's doing a lot better. She finished up her chemo, and she actually got to keep, like, all her hair. <laughs> and she worked, like, 60 hours a week, which is insane. Not many people can do that. She's a real tough cookie. Uh, she's going through radiation now. Uh, she actually really wanted to shoot this elephant, but her shoulder, her right shoulder, from, like, the radiation, it's, it looks awful. I mean, she only has, what is uh today, Wednesday, I forget whatever day it is. She only has a couple more treatments left. So she's, she, she'll be fine. She's doing good. But in uh, her behalf, we will be blasting this pink elephant, which thank you from John from Alloy211. He sent me this, and uh, me and him were talking about it, like, and he just randomly sent me this and i mean i truly appreciate it this is a beautiful target it is i forget uh correct i think it's three eights it looks three eights uh ar 400 seal right or ar three i think it's 400 300 or 400 probably 400 and uh we're gonna be shooting it with this here 458 winchester magnum with this gigantic stupid barrel i want to say it's 32 inches maybe 34 but i think it's 32 it's the biggest we could get and it's a beautiful gun it's a remington 700 with a savage type barrel a remage uh other than that i mean she shoots amazing mag fed so i think i can fit five or six of these in there i think it holds five anyway so we're going to be shooting the elephant this is a brass solid 500 grain brass solid it's not going to do much it's not going to penetrate these things hit hard they were designed for elephants you know african game uh these things penetrate i put them they out penetrated the 50 bmg in books uh they are no joke especially with this big barrel they are zooming out of there and then behind the scoop i got a new 40 pound block of lead just made it and i got a new or not new i got a, a lead this is lead this is solid brass here has a nickel coating and then like it's like a hollow point with lead so we'll see what the lead does to the lead so let's get into it okay so i got it on a pretty steep angle because i really don't want to this is going to be brass solid versus steel it's definitely going to fly somewhere so i got a pretty good angle i got that big 40 pound block of lead on the back of it there so it should demonstrate just how powerful this gun actually is so okay beating cancer in three two one <laughs> you know i had a shoulder problem <clears throat> in my last video with the bmg it did not help oh i forgot this gun actually recoils <laughs> pretty significantly hmm Alrighty. Dude, that gun shoots so good. I love it. I should have shot it in the head. I don't know why I didn't. I was just like aiming right there. It just dug in. Put a nice dent in there. Probably went flying off there. I'll see if I can find it somewhere. But uh, yeah, let's see what the lead does to the lead block now. Okay, hopefully I can get this in before it rains today. It's a really nice day. It's nice and cool. But uh, So this is a lead solid brass. It's a hollow point. I cut myself again already. Uh, hollow point filled with lead. So we'll see what it does to the 40 pound lead block down there. And this time I'm going to try to hold on to the gun a little bit better because I ain't going to lie. That motherfucker, uh, she got some oomph to her. Maybe let me try to adjust my stock here. This is a Boyd stock. Yeah, that might be a little better there. Oh, yeah. A little bit better. Okay, so. Let's see what lead does in lead here in three, two, one. Dude, I actually flinched on that because right before I pulled, I was like, 
I haven't shot this gun in a long time. I didn't think it recoiled like this, but my God, man. I, maybe it's just my bad shoulder, but holy fuck. <laughs> okay, maybe this was the problem. I, I thought I had it out before. I was like, oh, it's in, so I adjusted it out. And the re <laughs> recoil was so much, it actually... Uh, here, let me hold on one second. So you can adjust the, the butt out. I had it out. When I looked at it, I was like, it's not out again. So I don't know if it was like, ba -ba bam, you know. Or, uh, yeah. So the 458 Win Mag might be too much for that their stock. So let's see what happened to that. I can already see hold it. But my God, man, that hurt the shoulder. Oof. Oof. Oh, that's so cool. It, oh, that is so awesome. It just, look at that hole. It didn't come out the back. It was so close. So close. I might have to shoot a, a, that other type through there. See, look at that hole though. I mean, that thing, that's bigger than a golf ball. And it, like, look at that. Like, there's this, that is so cool. Wow. Let's try uh, a solid brass. And I'll adjust that stock too to see if that helps from the recoil at all. Okay, I got the stock in. So let's see if that helps with the recoil. And all right, let's see what a brass solid does to the lead block down there. Hopefully it helps the recoil a little bit. Good Lord. There we go. Sorry, mag was out of place. All righty. Hopefully. That's a little bit better. Sorry if you guys can't see as good. I'm trying to save my shoulder at this point. <laughs> oh, a lot better. A lot better. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't remember this gun kicking that hard. It's just that stock. Might need a different one. Let's go see what it did. Yeah, the, the recoil. Way better than that. It had to just be out of stock, just double tap. I was going to say, I was like, man, I don't remember that thing kicking that hard. Well, it did not go through. I did hit it right. Oh, yeah, dead center. And she's not there. I'm going to pause. Oh, I see it. I was going to say, I'm going to pause you guys, but I see it. Right there she is. Dude, it muffed that bullet up. Huh. Any other parts to it? Yeah, so much I just fell out when it, uh... <laughs> That's cool, man. I love the 458. One of my favorite guns. It's... I say about every gun. It's like my favorite. I think I just love every gun. I just find pieces of stuff every time. I found a piece of a 50 BMG just a little bit ago. But that's it, guys. Uh, I'm going to give my shoulder a break. Because I've been having some problems with it. Just pulled a muscle in it. It was starting to get better. <laughs> and then the 50 BMG and all this stuff. But thanks for watching. If you have any other ideas what I can do. Dude, that is so cool. I'm going to try it on an aluminum block. And not, not today. On the next video. See you guys. <laughs> Check this out, guys. Found a bullet. Uh, that thing really... <laughs> <laughs> Dispaced, dispersed all the energy there. That is so cool. Look at that. Make a little cup, little shot glass out of that thing. So awesome.